So today I was looking through some of the forums and I was seeing what people were posting and I came across a post about something in the Seastar app that I had never seen before. And so I was curious what that was and how it worked. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to try using that new feature. I, it's probably not new, a new feature, but new to me feature. So I log on to the Seastar app and I connect to my C star and you can see here that I'm already connected. And so um, this has to do with finding objects. So if you click on the stargazing mode and um, up here it lists the deep sky, the solar system, the best right now, and then my favorites, that's where I added that Swan 25 F comet in a different video. Uh, but at the top here, it says best right now. And if I click on that little arrow that says more, it takes me over here to what is best in the sky for me right now. And so I can scroll through this list and find what's visible to me. And so um, I'm not going to actually go to any object at this point. In the top right hand corner, there's these little dial looking things, little lines with circles on them. If I click on those, it brings up a filter and it lets me filter what is in that best right now list. And so right now it is defaulted, the filter is defaulted to 20 hundred hours to two, um, to 2 a.m. And so I can change that dial. So if I wanna do a plan and I wanna find out what's good till about 5 a.m., this would be helpful because I don't necessarily wanna image Orion at 5 a.m. because it's long gone down and is below the horizon. And so I want to find out what's visible at 5 a.m. So there I can change the time. The next little dial thingy is determining the altitude that it's looking for. So it defaults to 30 degrees to 90 degrees. And just as a note, this is in azimuth mode. So this is not using EQ mode where we change the polar alignment of the sea star. This is using azimuth with just the regular tripod that comes with the sea star. And so it's saying what is in the range of 30 degrees to 90 degrees to generate that list of what's best for me right now. Then below that, it says azimuth right there. And then it has this compass on there. Well, I can change this compass and turn off certain things. So say, for example, that I have a neighbor next to me and they have a super tall tree that if I were to shoot in that direction, it would hit their tree every single time. So I would never be able to image anything to that direction. Well, I've determined, okay, it's to the northwest of where I am pointing. And so I can go in here and just click on that compass and uncheck that little quadrant. It's not a quadrant because there's eight of them. I don't know what eight triangles are. So half a quadrant. Well, how's that? So half a quadrant, um, I can delete that. Now, say, for example, on the other side of me, I have a neighbor that their house happens to be taller than mine. And so I couldn't really image over there because if I did, I would run into their house or my own um, because the telescope is so close to my house or to theirs. So I could turn off those images or those items in that list. And then if I click OK, I don't know if you saw it, but some things disappeared in this. So let's uh, now go back and let's change this up and pretend that we're in an apartment building and we can only see things in one direction. So for example, if I was pointed, my apartment has a deck off of it, uh, and I can just point my C star in one direction. And so I'm gonna turn off all of the objects to the east because I my deck is pointed to the west. And so I can't, image behind me or I'm going to get the building. So I'm going to turn that off, click OK, and then go in here and you see that the list has changed for that. Now let's go in and change it to the other direction so we can see 
the changes there. So if we're, our deck's now pointed to the west. And so we want to exclude all the things to the east. And so we're going to point our sea star out to the west and we can only get things from the north to the south. And you see some of those things disappeared in that list. And so this filtering thing can be really helpful because sometimes we just don't know where in the sky things are because, you know, a couple of months ago I was imaging Thor's helmet or something and it was right in the east. And well, now it's a couple of months later and is it in the south or is it in the north or, you know, we don't always know. So this filtering can be really beneficial for that. And so um, I haven't used it yet tonight. We're going to do that tonight, but I wanted to show you where that filter was so that you can go in and, and look around and see what changes it makes to the best in your sky and see if it is helpful. Um, I, I want to give it a try. I, I'm glad that the forums are there because, you know, this has probably been there the whole time and I just didn't know it was there. So, um, I'm going to give it a try and hopefully you learned something new and we're wishing clear skies to everybody. Good luck.